Hello, my name is Matthew Hodgson and I'm a first year business solution at Leeds Beckett University. Today, I'm going to be talking about my behaviour as a customer and how marketing influences the purchases I make. First of all, marketing is the management process of anticipating, identifying and satisfying customer requirements profitably. Marketing can also be defined as the strategic business function that creates value by stimulating, facilitating and fulfilling customer demand. As a customer, there are three key buying situations, which are routine problem solving, limited problem solving, and extended problem solving. Routine problem solving is regular purchases, which are habitual and often low cost. Limited problem solving is less frequent purchases, which are moderately expensive. And extended problem solving is a serious investment with high risk. A recent purchase I made, which would fall into the category of routine problem solving, would be a bottle of water. When purchasing this item, I followed the buyer to consumer decision making process proposed by Gosney and Richardson. This means that I firstly recognised my problem at first and decided I needed to purchase a bottle of water. I then had to search for information on where the best place to buy it was. This meant taking into consideration time consumption and cost. I looked at all the local supermarkets and local corner shops. I then evalu evaluated all of my options and it led to me coming to the decision to buy it from Morrison's. I may have had social influences here as many of my friends also purchased drinks from this shop. Finally, my feedback on this purchase was that I was very satisfied with this product as it was the cheapest option as I got a deal, meaning I got two for one, and it was also very time effective. This purchase also links to Maslow's hierarchy of human needs. This theory contains five steps being physiological needs, safety needs, belongingness needs, esteem needs, and self-actualization. The purchase of a bottle of water falls into the physiological needs as it is needed for our survival and well-being. My Hugo Boss Descent aftershave is an example of a limited problem-solving purchase. This would be because I don't buy this product frequently and it is moderately expensive with limited risk. When purchasing this item, I followed the buyer to consumer decision making process proposed by Gosney and Richardson, but gave it more time to think about than the purchase I did for the routine problem solving purchase. This means that I firstly recognised my problem that I was running out of aftershave and needed to purchase a new one. Problem recognition occurs when a consumer sees a significant difference between their current state of affairs and their desired one. I then had to search for information on which was the best aftershave for me to purchase. I looked at Hugo Boss, Dior and Paco Rabanne. Once I decided on Hugo Boss, I looked at the different places to buy it. I looked at Boots, John Lewis and Fragrance Direct. I found that Fragrance Direct had the best available discount offering 10% off and so I decided to make my purchase from there. The next step is the post-purchase decision, where I evaluated my purchase. I was very pleased with my purchase, as I got a good discount, and the smell of the aftershave is very nice, and it solved my original problem. The last step is feedback prior to decision, where I decided whether or not I should keep this product. As I was very satisfied with my purchase, I decided to keep the product, and I wear it every time that I go out. Following the consumer involvement theory proposed by Rosenbaum, Elliott, Percy and Pervin, my purchase was highly rational and high emotional involvement. This is because it was expensive, an infrequent purchase with fairly high symbolic meaning and social visibility. It was also a slightly time consuming process as I had to evaluate a lot of options. There was also some potential for harm as it may not smell how I expected it to, meaning it also has some technical complexity. Thanks for watching my vlog.